Hey there, this is Todd at Biz Ladder. This video is gonna talk about Wix dynamic pages. It's gonna be an overview. It's gonna show you a little bit about where they are and how they work. We're not gonna to dive too deep into any technical options or features or additions or enhancements. Uh, if you have questions and wanna know how to do those things, just reach out to us and, and let us know you'd like to see that video made. All right, so the first question probably is, what are dynamic pages? Why do I care about them? If you already know this, skip ahead a few seconds. We'll come back to you. Um, dynamic pages, so two things about Wix. One, it has a 100 page limit. So dynamic pages are a way to work around that and build, in theory, as many pages as you want. Okay, but a dynamic page is a page that can change its content, but keep the same design and layout. It basically means you can create many, many pages that look and feel the same, but that are based on a data set, on a database, on what Wix calls a collection, versus you having to go in there and create page after page after page. They're automatically created and populated with data based on what you tell it to put in there. All right, so we're back. Let's dive in a little bit to Wix data sets, uh, or excuse me, Wix dynamic pages and data sets. So we're on this page here, This these shows right here. This is a, a, a dynamic, uh, repeater and we'll get into that but when you click on one of them it goes into more detail about what that show is about or video right so the idea here there's only three but in theory we could have 3,000 here if we wanted to organize a little better probably but um, we can create as many of these as we want and when you click into them they're always gonna look like this they're always gonna have a familiar look and feel and they're always gonna pull data from a data set so let's start let's go back into the editor and take a look here's the same page in editor you can see we've got a repeater and we've got this little squiggly line here that says connected to data so how does all this get set up well we're not going to get too far into this right now but basically when you first set up a dynamic page you can just create a new page and then add dynamic pages and Wix will create dynamic pages right here now if you don't want to do that if you already have it if you want to create other dynamic pages the easiest way to do this is to simply um, add a repeater and connect it to a data set there's a little more to it than that I know we're not going to get into that right now but we see we have a repeater and we have a data set right here okay so you can find content manager over here you can add presets these are collections ways to add you know previously created data set the dynamic pages this is probably the easiest way to do it you can add collections, data sets, forms, rich content, all right from the uh, toolbar here. So let's jump into the content itself because that's really the key to the data set. That's where everything resides. The repeater, the data set, the dynamic pages, all that's just structure. The, the meat of it is here in the data. You can manage content or you can click on the data set and manage content. It'll bring up something that, again, is accessible in the dashboard. Uh, there are some limitations when you go in and check this out in the dashboard, but this is the content manager. All right. You can see we've got our three shows here. We've got a gallery, we've got images, we've got all kinds of fields describing or containing data about these pages. And this is effectively like an Excel sheet or, or Google sheet. So if you're familiar with those, you can work within this content manager. We'll scroll over. You see, we got all kinds of data here, right? And each one of these fields is then connected go to the individual page to a text area here it connects to short project product description or project excuse me long project description that's title up there you know this is the gallery here so you can see every there you go projects gallery so every element every object on this individual page is connected back inside the content manager in the collection okay the data set is the little connector between the page and this collection in the content manager all right so the good news is this all happens automatically if I add a new row here I'm going to get a new object here four of them are going to appear instead of three and then when I'm on the live site I'll see four and I can click right in there there's no need to actually add a link connecting all the, these pages. That's the beauty of dynamic pages. It happens automatically. All right. Now you can add links to uh, elements inside the individual page or, or really anywhere. Um, it's a little too deep for this video, but let me just show you briefly where you would do that. You go back into the content manager. So 
scroll over, we click up. We would add a new field, and you can see the field would be URL. Okay, and then we're gonna type whatever the URL is in there. I'm not gonna save this in this live site. And back in the individual page, let's say, okay, I wanted this little vector art here to connect to that URL. Well, projects item is the data set. It's not connected right now, but then I would just grab that URL, okay? You can see I've got fields that are already connected here. That's why I won't let you do it again. But I would just select URL and then this object would turn into a link. For example, if you wanted to link from this individual page out to somewhere else, in this case, maybe to the exact podcast itself, you would just create the field in the content manager, come over to the object in the individual template, connect to the data set and connect to the field. You're connecting the dots here from from start to finish. All right, so that's it. I got a little too far you know, farther into the, the link connection and the, the additional detail that I wanted, but uh, anything else you wanna see on dynamic pages, let me know, Todd at BizLadder.